Morocco, El Maghreb. Really, football or soccer over there is really just getting started and blowing up. The men's team reached the semifinals of the World Cup, becoming the first African team and first Arabic team to ever reach such a feat. And it's ironic because I had been just there at a football match in June. Now, the woman of Morocco. Now, a lot of Arabic countries shun out women from football or soccer stadiums, but not Morocco. They embrace women, and women are absolutely powerful and passionate about the sport of football or soccer in Morocco. And we saw that in full display during the World Cup with their fans. But not just that. Their women team has become the first ever Arabic team to reach the World Cup. Yes, they've qualified for the next World Cup, help growing the sport around the Arabic world for women. And the African Cup was hosted in Morocco, and over 45,000 people attended the match for a women's match. The fans, they are so passionate. They love football and soccer. And I think a lot of Arabic countries can take a page out of Morocco's book in embracing women. And this is all ironic, as I said, because I had just attended my first match and really saw the amount of women in Moroccan football. And I met up with a girl named Iman, and we did an interview. And we're going to relive that interview here in a second. Because after the World Cup, I did touch base with her, and she said that it is even growing more than before. Women are getting more and more passionate about the sport, and I thought this would be a great time for us to relive the interview me and Iman had in Casablanca in June. Why are you a We Dad supporter? Was it family, friends? What made you support the team? Uh, so, I said, I'm a We Dad. 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 Why is We Dad so important in Casablanca and Morocco in general? It seems like everyone is either uh, Widadi or Rajawi. Yani, it seems like both of them are such a rivalry. Even like you are one of the only girls at the stadium. It seems like 90% guys, 95% guys. How does it feel to be like part of a community where it's so many guys and you're one of the only girls there? And on top of that, do you think that there's going to be more women attending football matches in Morocco in the upcoming years? <laughs> ودابا كثار بزاف دابا البنات ولاو غادي نمشيو كثر وكنمشيو كيل سورتو دابا مع ليكيب ديال الوداد يعني اصلا الجمهور ديالها مربي نقي يعني كنمشيو ما كيوقع حتى شي حاجه كنمشيو نتفرجو نضحكو شويه نغني ونشطو المهم مساهمه ما كنحاولش ولكن مهما مع السنين وهكا يقدروا يمشيو البنات كثر وكثر وكثر All right last question what is your favorite part about being a supporter of We Dad. أنا بروح الاستاد عشان الجمهور عشان الأمبيونس اللي كتكون في التيران الجمهور كيغني كنشطو كنزهاو شحال من حاجة وعلى قبل كنساندو حتى الفريق حتى هو باش يزيد قدام وأصلا ديجا زايد قدام باش يزيد ديما قدام وديما لي شامبيونز يلا باي باي ديما We Dad As you can see, the sport is growing among women in Morocco, and it is really remarkable. Fans are really putting a dent into the system in a great way. And fans like Iman and others, plus the women's national team, 
don't realize how big of an impact they're going to be making for future generation of women in Morocco, especially in sports. Now, I actually put in my suggested videos here also my wee dad trip. Check it out. You'll really, really enjoy it. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm George Jarjour. And if you like videos about sports and travel, please, it'd mean the world to me if you can like and subscribe to my channel as I travel around the world covering sports and travel.